Okay, here's a little update on our greenhouse. You can see that we have the uh, petunia, tennis petunia pots growing there. They're, uh, they're doing good. They're all flowering by Saturday. They'll be ready to go to the market. Yeah, we planted those about four weeks ago, five weeks ago from the plug trays. And they have grown very nicely. And over here we got some salad pots. That's a uh, red cherry tomato on the bottom. And on the top of that we got basil, oregano, and some chives growing on top that we'll be able to sell these as salad bowls. Pick a little basil, pick a couple of tomatoes, a little oregano, make yourself a little sauce right at the house. This right here is some other flowers we have here. This is uh, Cosmos. This will make a, about a 10 foot tall plant when it reaches full maturity. This is a uh, cranial. And we have some on this table here, some other uh, oregano. And we have also over here some more starts we're bringing up. This over here is some cabbage that I'm transplanting into pony packs. More Cosmos down here. Here's some of the tomatoes and peppers we're growing here. These are getting just about right for market. You want a good plant that's somewhere between between 8 and 10 inches tall. No taller than that that you're going to transplant. And here's a nice healthy plant. You can see the stock on that is about 3 eighths of an inch thick. And the plant is about 6 inches tall. That's going to make a good transplant. And let's see, we come on down here and we got some pepper plants going on here that in another two weeks be ready to go to market, another week or so maybe. Some nice pepper plants. If you see here, once again, the size of the stock compared to the size of the plant. Good, healthy plants. Miles of aisles of tomato plants that we've kept right about six to eight inches tall. Now I'm turning them loose, and we're let them grow up to market size. So they're doing well. Back over here, we have some more vegetables that we have in the pots and more and more and more tomato plants out here then over here we have our second generation these will be ready in two weeks to go to market with these are tomatoes and pepper plants here more tomatoes and pepper plants over there over here is tomatillas they're taking over the house they're ready to go right now those are about 10 to 12 inches tall they're just a little over where they should be but they'll be fine when they're transplanted they ought to look more like these guys over here but I didn't control the environment for these guys as well. Down here we have some marigolds. Good healthy marigolds. We planted those from seed direct. Uh, planted those and they're doing well. They'll be ready for market next week. So they're doing well. Take you through here. And then over here we have again some basil, oregano, some more peppers doing well through here these will be ready for market in two weeks this is our last stage in the greenhouse here I'll walk you over and let you take a look at the cold frame this is the cold frame that I built there's the chicky chicks out there doing their business this is a cold frame I built this year it's got roll up sides on it there remind you of anything Josh and into the cold frame we moved things into here starting two weeks ago Here's those same tomatillas that we moved into, into one gallon pots. You see the difference in the size of those. Over here's my potato pots. This is a bucket of spuds. These should produce somewhere between five and eight pounds of potatoes to each bucket. and They're almost ready to go to market. Down here we have some sunflower seeds. These are from you, Josh. Nice sunflowers, ready to be transplanted. Down here we have some lettuces and some... Uh, broccoli and some other cold plants. These lettuces will be uh, sold at market this week, hopefully. All of them will be gone. Down here is cucumbers and vine plants. Over here is these same tomato plants that I transplanted out here four days ago. I don't know if you can see the difference in the size of these plants. The size of that stock is Oh, between three eighths and a half inch. The plant, when I buried it, I buried it about four inches deep. So the plant's almost a foot tall in here so far. And they're doing well. So pepper plants down here. 
So they're just jumping up and growing, and so we'll be sending these to market. Anyway, I'll try to get this posted up for you to look at, Josh. Bye.